Hey guys, Lady Locks here, and today I've got Ho 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 by Lock Chuck. Here is the key or the lock. It's gorgeous. He does such a nice job, just beautiful job etching all of his locks. I really don't know how he does it so nicely, but it looks really cool. And then you've got the key. Uh, he mummies it in these little things here, and he always makes a really nice, you know, just a nice presentation on these locks. So, Ho 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 by Lock Chuck, 7 3 This is actually number four. And, boy, some of his challenge locks are just brutal. This one says, warning, use shims when gutting. Do not turn core to 180 degrees. Pins will spring into keyway. So, we don't want that. I'm just going to turn it a bit if I get it open. And then I will use a shim to gut it. And we should be okay. If something should happen, um, I do know Lock Chuck and, you know, he'll help me out. Right, Lock Chuck? <laughs> You'll put it back together if I jack it all up, right? Which I don't intend to do. I'm going to be very cautious and careful, but that's usually when something happens to me. I'm trying to do my best to not mess it up. All right. Top of keyway, 50 thousandths. And I'm going to start out with this Jimmy Longs, but I'm going to get my favorite Rob Lawn pick as well. Actually, he made me two so far. I've got a couple more coming, but I'm going to take those aside with me because I they really fit into these keyways that are just so ridiculous like this one seems to be. So let's get started and see what Ho 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 brings. Got a little bit of a click and... Oh, not another one. And false set. But lock chucks locks are very tricky. So uh, none of this stuff means really means anything. He really designs his challenge locks to give you feedback that doesn't match up with what you know you think is happening. So you just kind of gotta <laughs> hope for the best. Hope for the best. I tried picking balancing Betty. I think it's called. I picked that one on picking time the other day. I picked this one on there too, but I actually got Bouncing Betty open as well. But then I tried to catch it on video separately, you know, on its own video, but that did not happen. Couldn't get it open again. So I'm hoping I can, you know, open Ho 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 again though. But... I wonder how he named them. Hmm. All right. Keep getting some clicks and, you know, counter to er, full sets there. Not really any counter rotation or anything. Nothing to tell me what to do here. So I'm just slowly touching each pin to see if I missed something. I can't figure it out. Uh, what have I got here? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe need a longer hook. For the back here. Because uh, unfortunately I lost my full set. Alright. Got it back there. Got a nice click out of the last pin. And some more movement right here. But I'm really, you know, trying hard. Don't know what, what to do. Yeah, right here seems to be something. Or I pick it, lose my false set, go to the next one, get it kind of back, 
and then get stuck back to where I was, it seems like. But I feel like that's the only one that wants to do anything right now. Anyways, so not 100% sure what to do next. Let's see what's going on here. No, I don't think that one. Or the next one. Alright, that was a good click there. Maybe that was the game-changing click I was waiting for. So, in the meantime... I'm going to say a little bit about Lock Chuck. You guys, if you aren't a subscriber to Lock Chuck's channel, I really think you should go check it out. He's got... Yes! All right. Maybe I'm getting good luck by talking lock chuck up. You know what I mean? Maybe his locks hear me. And if I say some good stuff about lock chuck, they'll open. Wow. I'm going to try this technique when I pick bouncing Betty, huh? All right. But I was saying, uh, yeah, if you guys don't know who lock chuck is or haven't subscribed to his channel, you should definitely go over and check it out. I will leave a link in the description of this video for his channel. He is such an amazing picker. I mean, he's just, just amazing. He's been super, super into disc container locks lately. He's picked just about everyone. There is, I think several black belt disc detainer locks as well. Uh, he's just really, really doing such a great job. He makes so many things. He's got so many instructive videos out there. I think he even made his, yeah, he made his disc detainer pick. Then he made it, you know, remade it into a better version. I mean, the guy's just absolutely brilliant. So go check out his channel. Like I said, lots of instructive videos there for, you know, for people to check out kind of at any level because he did come in and was picking blue belt locks and things like that. So he does have some great videos on those locks as well. You just have to kind of go back. He's been obsessed with disc detainers. So lately it's only disc detainer stuff, but definitely has some stuff going back. All right. I'm using my gorgeous picking time tray that was made for me by Bobby Keys. And I guess I'm going to unmummy this key and use it to open the lock when I got it. So let's just take that off and slide the key out. Go ahead and close the lock. Now lock check said we need shims. So we'll definitely use some shims, but I also need to fight this clamp on the back. So let's get that out as well. Let me get all this goodies for gutting and a shim always have shims handy. Oh, that one's bent. Let me get a better one. There we go. All right. So first of all, clamp. I don't know if that's going to work because, oh, that works. Okay. There we go. Got the clamp off. Let me get rid of that crappy shim. All right, so no turning 180, so we're just going to turn it just slightly. Eh, like that should be good. Now if I can pick this shim up. Goodness gracious, guys. <laughs> Gosh, okay. Using a shim. I just hope these pins aren't crazy uh, that I have to kind of get them back in the lock. Sometimes that's a problem when you got a challenge lock is actually reassembling the challenge lock becomes quite a chore as well, depending on what kind of pins there are inside of the lock. So getting the shim in there, that looks about even looks straight. Uh, also guys, when you're shimming and pushing up through the back, make sure you have the front gripped tight so that you don't accidentally push the front of the core out while you're pushing the shim and you want to make sure you've got that in a good grip. All right. Now let's see what we've got here. We've got the key turn just so we don't want it to be 180 or anything. Nowhere close. And let's see what we got. All right. 
Mm -hmm. Wow, beautiful pen already. Gosh, lock chuck. Two. Three. Wow. Wow. I just want to make sure it's right side up in the tray. Looks like that. Okay. Let's take a look at the core. And we've got some threading and undercutting. Looks like. Undercutting and threading on two. Threading on three and five and one, four and six look plain. All right. Now for the fun part. Oh, goodness. This makes me nervous. This makes me very nervous. All right. I'm going to turn my follower this way. When you turn it this way, they can kind of, the pins come up, but they kind of get stuck right here. So they don't really go too far away. I'm just going to pull this shim out for now. And let's hope for, actually, let's see if I can get this to just shine in the background and not bother the camera too much. All right, that works. All right, a little much, huh? There we go. Number one. Okay, need my other tweezers over here. All right. Number two. Wow. <laughs> Number three. Looks like the springs are all the same so far. Number four. Number five. Get that spring out. Worry about that after. Okay, there we go. All right, and it looks like number one's got some modifications down inside of there, but I'm not really sure what that is. Down there on number one. Anything down the row there? I don't know, but number one there looks like something, huh? Yes, some threading throughout. All right, pretty wicked, Lock Chuck, pretty wicked. Okay, so that was Ho Ho Ho, Mock Chucks number four. Let's take a closer look at these pens, and I'm just going to actually close up the camera instead of closing 
picking this tray up. I do not want to pick it up and lose anything. So check out those crazy torpedo pins on one, four, and six. Really intense. And yeah, those pins are just gorgeous. Just really gorgeous. And I don't know, are those steel pins? I mean, he must have did this on some type of crazy machine because those are so hard to file. It's insane. So they're just gorgeous. Very, very well done. Beautiful craftsmanship lock chuck. All right, I'm going to be careful and put this little guy back together. And hopefully I will be able to open um, Bouncing Betty next. So stay tuned for Bouncing Betty coming up. Um, thank you, Lock Chuck, for such a really cool lock to pick. I'm going to try to get this one put back together and sent on to the next picker. Thank you guys for watching.